this will be an installation of a bulk sheet on a moderately difficult tail light. Before beginning, make sure that your tail light surface and the surrounding area are clean. Uh, begin by peeling the backing off of the film and centering it on the light. For this particular light, I'm going to tack it in the middle vertically. Now this light curves around the body from back to front. It also curves in at the top and in at the bottom. But besides that, it has a couple of humps in the middle, making installation a little bit more difficult. So, with the film tacked in the middle, begin with your application card to apply the film to the light. Working from the center, you'll want to begin moving out towards both edges of uh, both sides of the light. For this particular application, I'll probably be using my finger quite a bit because there are little valleys in the light itself. For an application like this, it may be easiest to work out from the center to the back of the vehicle, up and down from top to bottom. Again, pushing the film down in the valley. We're even working the film up to the top. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and apply some heat from a hair dryer and soften the film and help remove these fingers. You'll want to apply enough heat to soften the film. Uh, a hair dryer will take a little bit longer than a, a heat gun. A heat gun has more power. Uh, and without a, a higher amount of heat. Okay, with the back nearly complete. I will move around to the side of the vehicle. Again, using my finger to remove the air from under the film. When applying from a bulk sheet, you will apply the film up to the, the crease in the body where the tail light meets the body. And as best as you can, force the film into that groove. That'll give you a nice definite edge when it's time to, when it comes time to cut the film or trim. At this point, with three quarters of the light done, there's going to be a little bit of bunching of the film in the lower portion. Uh, this can be removed, of course, uh, by again heating the film.
and lifting the film slightly to allow for a straight edge and begin working back out towards the outer edge of the tail light. In some cases, it will be easier to use your finger with the way the film sometimes bunches. Again, applying the film to the edge of the light. If you find bubbles, you're able to lift the film and reapply it at a, a higher amount of heat. With a heat gun, you want to be careful and moderate your application of hot air so as to not burn the film or damage the adhesive. A hair dryer is actually a, a better way to ensure that that doesn't happen. If you find before you make your final cut that you have a bubble in the film, you can actually peel the film back to the bubble and reapply. Prior to the final cut, go ahead and take your squeegee or application card and run it along the edge of the light in the groove between the body and the light. And that will give you a nice definite edge. Trimming your light, you'll want to find a, a starting point that you're comfortable with. And this can be done in, in two different ways. Uh, you can you can actually score the film through the first layer and peel back, remove the film, or you can use the edge of the light as a guide and rest the blade gently against it, which helps to give you a nice straight edge when cutting. When using this method, be sure to only insert the tip of the blade as if you go, if you're going too deep, uh, you run the risk of scratching your paint behind the light. I'm going to try both methods of cutting just as a demonstration. Now I'm lightly scoring the film. You may 
find some small balls of adhesive. You can use the film to remove those. Your finger will work also. Uh, and of course, soap and water when you wash the vehicle will remove 